What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. Time to be showing you guys the Easy 450 Sulfur. Now before I get into the video, I just wanna say thank you guys for all the support. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and it really motivates me to keep going. I see you guys liking my content. Also, let me know I'm in the right direction of showing you guys what you wanna see. If you're new to the channel, I just wanna say thank you and welcome. I drop a lot of dope content here, so consider subscribing. Also, there's a 4K video playing in the background of me, and you guys, when this video is coming ahead of time, if you follow me on Instagram, at Y Davis, but let's get right into it, guys. So these did actually drop today for retail of 200. For some reason, um, the Easy 450 doesn't do that good, so you can find these for retail, probably in a lot of boutiques and things like that, at the release date or even on the secondary market for just under retail at the moment. Now, if you wait a few more weeks and even months, you might even be able to find it for under retail. But um, let's get right into it, guys. On the top of the box here, it says 450. One side is blank, the other side is blank. On the back it says Easy 450 made by Adidas. I did go to size 10 on these. Now, um, make sure you guys stay throughout the whole video because I will be showing you guys a very detailed on foot where my foot is in the toe box. You do not want to get the sizing wrong on these. Okay, so I'm um, open up the box here. It says made in Germany. All right, and then uh, get the paper out of there. Then we get these really nice shoes. Now, I really do like 450, so to me, this colorway is kind of dope. So, you know, to each his own. But anyway, in person, uh, it's like a washed out yellow. Um, not really like a mustard, a little bit lighter than a mustard color, but the sapphire colorway on these is dope in my opinion. Now, um, on the bottom of the shoe here, we get like this milky yellowish color. Well, sapphire in, the, in this case, okay. Coming towards the outside of the shoe here, we get those flames basically going up the shoe on the outside. All right, same thing on the inside. Pretty fire in my opinion. Now, um, when we move up a little bit further than that, we get this knitting material all the way around the shoe. And uh, on the outside, you see that knitting material there. Okay, which is very tight to the foot, guys. I must tell you, very tight to the foot. Same thing on the inside here. Okay, now coming towards the front of the toe box here, or as you guys can see, it is knit as well now you don't have to worry about wearing shoe trees or anything like that in this type of shoe because of the material so you won't have to worry about it creasing up and things like that we also don't get any extra pair of laces but as you guys move a little bit further back here we get like these safflower laces in the shoe which are pretty nice but uh moving back a little bit further than that we get like this sock like material that really holds your foot inside the shoe um now once again you do not want to mess up on sizing on these about how tight the shoe is and you do not want to deal with that in my opinion but um let's look at the back of the shoes here now on the back of the shoes here it starts off in like an upward slope okay going up the shoe and then we get the knitting at the back back there okay all right now coming towards the inside of the shoe here is mainly in that safflower color and then as you guys can see on the right shoe, it says Yeezy with the three stripes. Now, the reason for that being in three stripes and things like that is because if you guys look at the tags that come on the shoe, uh, parts of this shoe actually come from recycled materials. So on the right shoe, they put the three stripes. And on the left shoe, they put the globe right here, as you guys can see. So on the insole, it is safflower. And then uh, the wording and the logos is in gray. Okay, pretty nice. We also get the sizing on the insole as well. And on the bottom of the insole, it is gray and blue. Okay, pretty fire. Now, um, I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box right now. Okay guys, so I just put on the 9.5 and um, you could barely even tell the difference if you guys look side by side. So if you look side by side, you would think these was the same size, honestly. But, you know, it's one size apart, but you can't even tell. So the size on the left side is a size nine and a half and the size on the right is a 10. Now, um, I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the left shoe. So my foot is in the same spot right here, space right there, right here, foot right here, space right there. So my feet is in the same spot in two different size shoes. So basically what I'm trying to tell you guys is please go to full size up because it is gonna really help and give you a lot of breathability in this area right here on this shoe. It's hurting me right here, right now. On the right shoe, I don't feel anything. The shoe feels very comfortable. Um, and another thing is, if you're gonna be having 
trouble putting your shoes on this is what is going to happen if the shoe is too tight you're going to have to keep on stretching out the shoe trying to put it on uh, i got the white ones in a size 10 and both of them still look a little brand new you know what i mean other than me wearing them but not having any problem with that threading on the size 10 because i wasn't fighting with the shoe but i just want to tell you guys that and show you guys but other than that the shoe is real comfortable on foot i just want to say thank you guys for watching Okay, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Show your boy some love and stay tuned. Thank you.